and we are back welcome back to the channel my name is lag and this is grounded we're over on the new side of the yard here the section that we went to in the last episode and we got a few things done we got the spicy coltana we got the new axe we probably did something else i don't remember oh yeah we killed some roly polies and got that much closer to getting our new roly poly set of armor but today i think it is time to go inside that termite hill and exterminate every last termite including the termite king so we're gonna start heading over that way i don't know why i'm grabbing sap i don't need sap i'm fine so since the last episode i decided to build something over here i don't remember where i built it at but somewhere around here yeah here it is um i built some stairs so we can go up to the upper upper level of the backyard we're on the upper lower level and then there's the upper upper level we can get to the upper level by going through the uh the coal field if you want to call it that where all the hot coals are we'll, we'll just do this instead go up some stairs and here we are easy peasy lemon squeezy on the way over to the termite mound i figured we might hunt one of these uh scarab beetles i know there's one around here somewhere next to this bike if i can find it then i will kill it we need some more shells so we can keep upgrading we got to get to level eight and level nine on our weapons and our tools so today will be i see you i see you now we don't want it to see us or it's going to take off really fast so let me get up on the spoon see if we can get a good shot looks like it's going around the back side here maybe it'll come around this way and i'll shoot it we'll just have to wait and see where's he going he's going out of bounds don't go out of the yard get back in the playable space cheater there he is there he is gotcha easy kills thanks so much two more twinkling shells speaking of twinkling shells we're going over to the uh, wood pile and the comments section was crazy in the last video talking about some sort of backpack with like five twinkling shells in it so we're gonna have to look for that also someone in the comment section told me that like um gas arrows would work against the the scarab beetle so yeah that makes sense i'm sure there's quite a few ways to kill it i didn't make it i didn't mean to make it seem like the, how i was doing it was the only way to do it i'm just saying you know if you have a powerful enough bow and using powerful enough arrows and you got the crow's feather hat on it's one to kill it which is ideally what you want you want something's going to kill it before it runs off we've got the termite king we're going to be dealing with today but also there's a secret boss back here underneath the uh shed that we're gonna have to uh pay a visit to really soon as well so we're gonna have a couple of boss fights back to back in this section of the yard i want to see if i can show you one of these black ox beetles that live around here too which we're gonna have to kill if you want the new the new tier three hammer now there's currently nothing on the map that requires a tier three hammer for you to break uh, however if you weren't paying attention for the first episode there's there's a playlist on the screen by the way this game is not done being developed it's in early access it has not hit the 1.0 stage yet so they've still got a ton to develop in the backyard new biomes will be coming new animals new new resources all kinds of stuff is still to come uh in this game so we will eventually need that tier three hammer for something so we want to kill some black ox beetles probably not today but definitely very soon I think I'll do a video when the series wraps up with the features that are coming to the game. Um, Obsidian, the developers of this game, have a feature board that tells you everything that's planned for the future. So here's some lint. We just got a bunch of lint, six of them there. Let's get some more here. So I think I'll do a video kind of uh, showcasing what's coming up in this game. Because we are unfortunately going to have to take a break from this game. Uh, at a certain point and wait for the next big update which seems to be about every other month so it won't be long before another update hopefully it'll be a nice big fat juicy content update not really sure but they are planning for a full launch of this game by the end of the year so there should be several updates between now and the end of the year so we'll have to just keep revisiting this game hey look here's some splinters and now that we have our termite axe we can get some of those except they're all gonna roll down aren't they yep okay let's go down and get them here's one right here wooden splinter we'll have to research that but i'm pretty sure there's a better arrow than the uh feather arrow and that would be the splinter arrow however i think some testing on the internet was done and there's just not a big difference if any at all between the two so it's obviously something they're gonna have to buff maybe they have those since i've watched those videos so maybe they are stronger now we'll have to check them out ourselves i've got all three of my new weapons with me today so if one breaks we're, we're covered although some of these aren't going to do as good as others against the termites i don't know what we use against the termites i don't care i'm just going to slash at them and bash them and see which one of these things works best but we got the antlion greatsword the spicy coltana and the morning star mace 
I haven't made the uh, the mint maze yet, though. Hey! See how you like uh, salty? Oh, you don't like salty at all. Salty it is. Okay, that's easy to determine that salty is their weakness. What are you doing, aphid? You better you better run and hide, man. It's crazy around here. All right, so we went in here yesterday. Oh, there goes a the scarab beetle. No, you don't. Oh, no, you don't. And he, yes, he did. He's gone. All right, in the comment section, I jumped on this nail in the last video, and someone said the book bag is close to the nail. There's another piece of wood you can climb up, and it's back behind it. So maybe, maybe here? Uh, ah, you weren't joking. Here we go. Seven twinkling shells in there. Wow. No, I, I got five and I already had two on me. Okay, so there's five in the book bag. That's really good. So I think the best way to tackle this area, by the way, is we'll start at the... There's the... Oh, he's back. The scarab beetle's back. I, I don't think the scarab beetle's coming back out. I think he got spooked by something and probably uh, despawned. So... Like I was saying, I think the best way to tackle this is we'll just go up to the top and then work our way through the uh, termite hill all the way down to the bottom. So I think we can get up top by going over here and just going straight up like this. I hear mosquitoes. I think we have to deal with some mosquitoes. Uh, yeah, we want to get up there on that blue tarp. Yeah, there's definitely mosquitoes up here. Okay, let's go around this way. We'll do a little parkour. Chop, chop, chop. Let's get some more of these splinters. I wonder how the salty mace will do against these mosquitoes. Let's find out. Ow, man, what are you doing? <laughs> it knocked him silly. Knocked him silly. Get down here. Spider, stop. Spider, stop. Get down here right now, mosquito. Oh, this mosquito is driving me crazy. You're driving me crazy. Everyone's driving me crazy. Absolutely had enough. Get out of here. You're making me sick. Yeah, so spiders up here. Now, when this new section of the yard was in the test server, these were actually called Black Widow Spiderlings, which is leading everybody to believe they're going to put a Black Widow Spider in the game at some point, which is going to be crazy because that will then mean the Wolf Spider is no longer the biggest spider threat in the game. It's definitely going to be the Black Widow. Raw science. Milk molar. All right. Lots of webs, some sap in here. I don't... You would think a wolf spider would be in here. I'm not gonna wait around to find out. Let's just go. I'm gonna put mosquitoes everywhere. Yeah. yeah, that's the way to do mosquitoes. Just take out the big sword and chop them into pieces. Good night, goodbye, rest in peace. Oh, that's terrifying. Well, there was a spider under the tarp, but also halfway through the tarp. Let's go get rid of him. <laughs> He's super derped out. I think this is a job for the spicy Coltana here. I don't think spiders like the spice very much. Let's go say hi. Hello. Get from under that tarp. Oh, uh, you're, you're not even going to fight back, are you? He's our friend. Kill it. Oh, that is just... Oh, there's another one somewhere. I hear a second one. Hang on. Oh, I think I know where he's at, too. Is there a spider in there? Hey, termite. Yeah, so the spicy coltana, not as good. Not as good. Definitely got to use this thing. Definitely. Yeah, that's better. Uh -uh, uh -uh. Gotcha. Give me your parts. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there's a wolf spider in there. I heard another one somewhere. Hello? Maybe he's trapped in the wall. Yeah, I think he's glitched out like the other one was. I think there's a second one glitched. All right, we got all kind of cha-chas here. Might as well get them. We need, like, uh, cha-chas when we repair our sword. So it's still good to have them. So let's just get them. So that'll be another way down into the termite hill. But uh, we need to keep clear to up top first. I want to see if we have any more milk molars or anything interesting up here. Ah, yeah, another mega milk molar over there next to the giant baseball. And I think this is another box of mints over here. I wonder if it'll let me open this one. I couldn't open the other one. But maybe this one will let me open it. Nope. You used to be able to smash these mints right here. Oh. Okay. Got it. 
and awkwardly get inside of it. There we go. Hey, I figured it out. Which means I could probably open the other one that's right next to the mystery machine in the backyard, which I've been trying to open since the start of this series. Huh. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, who doesn't want more mosquitoes? But he is guarding a 500 raw science under there, so I'm going to get it. Ah, ah, ah. Good night, mosquito. I hear another one. Oh, he's way up there. Raw science. We got a juice box up here, and I think that's everything that's probably up here. I would say this would be an interesting place to build a house, but you'd have to deal with the mosquitoes respawning constantly and two wolf spiders. <laughs> I mean, it would be an awesome view, but uh, no thanks. No thanks. We are going to have so many termites to clear out in here. It's not even going to be funny. It's going to be like a hundred of them, probably. Here's one. Might as well kill him before he goes and tells his friends we're here. Ow. What are you... What was that? Did the termite just spit at me? And what did you spit at me? I call bullcrap on that. Termites don't spit. Maybe they do. I don't know. I mean, what do I know about termites, really? All I know is that they like to eat wood. Oh, I hate that spit they do. Dead. Come on, here comes another one. They just file in one at a time. Let's go. Don't do it. Don't do it. You did it anyways. I said don't do it. Stop spitting at me. You spitting at me any way to treat a visitor? No, it's not. Calm down, termites. All right, I got enough termite parts. I can stop collecting those. I think we're in some sort of big cavern. How many are going to be in here? Well, one at least. Here we go. Whatever you're doing, stop it. It's like they're vomiting on me. I thought maybe it was I thought maybe it was like sawdust they were putting in my eyes. It's pretty much vomit. Ow, that one hurt. That one hurt. No. Nothing's killing me today. This is a zero death video today. Okay, hold on. Time out. Time out. Time in. Yeah, you're not silly. But I don't have any stamina to follow up on. There we go. Yeah. Got you. Yeah, I figured out the problem. I still had my anti-venom spider mutation on instead of my extra stamina mutation on. Man, that was the problem the whole time. Unfortunately, my firefly helmet's about to break, which is not good. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. Oh, God, there's like six or seven of them right there. We're going to throw a bomb at them. That's the way we'll do it. Let me get this one guy first. Oh, yeah, we're throwing bombs. I'm not playing that game where I have to take on six of these things at once. Are you kidding me? Look at all of them. Yeah. Enjoy. Hold on to that. <laughs> I wonder if I killed any. Who knows? We'll know in a minute. They're probably damaged. Let's throw another one. Hang on to that one for me too, guys. Oh, yeah, I took them all out except for the big boy. Here we go. Let's take out the big guy. Yeah, he was, he was one shot. Oh, this guy survived somehow. And now he's dead. All right, yeah, there was a one, two, three, four. Five, six of them right here. Yeah, right. Okay. Let's search around. Uh, we can, all right, let's, let's, all right. So we came through here. We can go left or we can go right. If we go right, it looks like there's at least two ways to go. Let's go left because I'm left-handed. And that's how we play. So this is going down pretty far. I feel like uh, maybe this is the wrong way, but maybe it's the right way. What do I know? Oh, it's another way out. Is it? Oh no, it's another termite soldier. I'm pretty sure these little ones just show up out of thin air. It's like this dude was just attacking me and he wasn't even here at the start of the fight and then all of a sudden he's here? Like, where did you come from? Yes, it's another way out. 
Okay, so then back to where we first came in at, basically. Okay, this is where we came in at, and then we killed all these guys with the bombs, so we took a left. Now we're gonna take the right, and I guess we'll take the first left. Right here. See what's down here. Probably worth checking everything in here. Who knows what you're gonna find. Oh, food break. If you want some mushrooms, there's lots of mushrooms down here. I'll take some. Even though I brought a bunch of jerky with me, might as well eat some free mushrooms instead of the good stuff. All right, now there's a left and right in here we gotta choose from. <laughs> oh, I guess we'll just go left down this way and see what's down here. At this point, I don't know where I'm at anymore, and nobody does. We may never find our, we may live here. We might have to set up a base in here made of mushrooms. This is our home now. There's like acorn in here and stuff. Lots of mushrooms. Anything else? Yeah, there's a scabby right here. Sawdust scabby. If mushrooms are your thing, then man, do I have the spot for you. It's just filled with mushrooms and even more mushrooms. And just when you thought you've run out of mushrooms, bam, more mushrooms. Also, milk molar, found one. Okay, we're back at the spot where we blew up all the termites with the bomb. And this is the only way I haven't checked so far. What's in this corner over here? A cha-cha? Aha, I know where we're at. So without the tier three axe, you cannot get past this point. You can't jump through it. Can't crouch through it. You ain't getting through there. You need the tier three axe. So we're gonna chop it up and see what's down here. But I think you might have an idea of what's down here. And I don't know if we're ready for it or not, but we're going in and we're doing it. My shield's about to break and my helmet's about to break. This sucks. My helmet's the light helmet, but maybe if there's enough light in here, we'll put on a real helmet and it won't be a problem. But there should be a big boy coming up. A real big boy. They call him the Termite King. He's dead ahead. Look at this guy. Hello. Goodbye. All right, we're not ready. We're, we're, we are ready, but I just need to prep up. I'm going to put on a different hat first, and I'm going to take a couple of smoothies I brought with me that are going to help us in this fight real quick. And I think the mace is probably the smart thing because it seems like the Termites don't like the salt. Seemed like there was plenty of light back here, so I'm going to just run back here, see if we can find a nice bright spot to fight him in. That way you guys can see what's going on. Don't do it. Don't do it. You didn't do it. Good. Good. Time to fight. Want some of this big man? It's a little dark in here. It's a little dark. We're going to be all right. Oh, no. Not these. There's a little guy in here. Oh, no. There's two little guys in here. Not good. Not good. We gotta heal. That's oh, did we get him stuck? Oh no, this is not what we want. We don't want to beat him like this. You know what I can do? That I can kill these little guys. One down. Two down. Got you. Got you. Well, awkward. Hey, buddy. We were gonna do this really cool fight, and then you just had to go and get yourself stuck. Well, this counts. <laughs> Make no mistake about it, this counts as a butt whooping. We were gonna whoop his butt anyway, so I hope he doesn't die way up there where I can't get his parts. All right, hopefully we can harvest him. Got him. And we got the termite chompers, which we've already had. Termite parts, which you know about bug glue, but we did get four termite kings pieces. I don't know what that word, I don't, nobody knows that word. Hey, check it out though, burgle champ. Got it. Now, the more I think about it, that termite's actually lucky he got stuck. Because I was just going to really embarrass him anyways. And now at least he has an excuse in termite heaven to tell his friends on why he was defeated. Because he got stuck. So he's actually lucky. Look how cool this sword looks at nighttime. It actually, it actually illuminates the grass and stuff. It's kind of like, it's kind of like having a torch. It's not really a good torch, but it does illuminate a little bit. That's pretty neat. And it looks so cool. Look at the hot embers coming off of it. It's so neat. I mean, just look how cool it looks. Everybody should get one of these. Why don't you have one of these yet? Go get it. <laughs> oh no, oh no. Black Ox Beetle, it's chasing me. We're running for our lives right now. Stop chasing me. If he throws a boulder at me, he can one shot me with that boulder. Go, get out of here. We'll come back for you. Don't you worry about it. You're gonna get it. I see another twinkle shell. Dead. Got you. I am the arrow master. Sweet. We got nine twinkling shells. We could definitely probably make a glob. 
I see another beetle, another little scarab. Every so often he'll little he'll do a little twinkle so you can keep an eye on him. They're hard to spot. He just went up here, right there. I missed him. He's coming back this way, right for us. He's coming right for us. I missed. Oh my god, I'm so bad. I'm the worst. He's gone. He's gone. We'll never see him again. Man. So I can hit one from like 40 feet away, but I can't hit one from five feet. Give me a break. I am not the arrow master. I am still the parry master though. And don't you forget it. Time to test out and see how good this uh, return home zip line works. We haven't tried it yet. We built it on the last episode, but we never gave it a try. It's working about as good as you'd expect a zip line to work. I do have some mosquitoes over here to our left. I wonder if they'll notice me. And if they'll be able to catch me if they do notice me. At least the good news about getting hit off your zip line when you're above water is you won't take any fall damage. So that's good. Ah, it seems like they're pretty chill. We're good. And this isn't that slow either, so this is working great. We're coming in kind of hot. Don't hit your face, Pete. Yeah, we're fine. Look, I used a uh, bee stinger as the anchor. I like to use, so you can use this or you can use the zip line anchor, but I like to use the zip line anchors mostly because you can attach several points to them. Whereas those anchors, those little bee sting anchors are just kind of a one purpose use only just to return. You can't send a rope off of it. So it's probably best to use these things. But we're going over here because I want to research, by the way. We got plenty to research today. All right, first things first, the splinters. Yeah, and that's suspected splinter arrows. And then second things second, we got some lint while we were out there. We can make lint rope with our lint. And then third things third, we got the termite king part. Let's check that out. Ooh, termite armor, but it's only a chest piece. It's pretty interesting. There's another boss. Oh, brain power leveled up. Hold on. Termite axe, termite armor. We already knew that. Thank you. There's only one piece of termite armor you can make. There's a second boss out there that also will let you make one piece of armor. And that's the brood mother. You can make a mask. So what I'm hoping happens in the future is we get a third boss um, and it will let, let us make maybe the leggings. So then we'll have leggings from one boss, a mask from one boss, and a chest plate from one boss. And then when you put all three of those together, you'll get some super awesome set bonus. That's what I'm hoping they're doing, because it's just kind of weird to only have one piece of termite armor. So yeah, you make the lint rope on your spinner, but man, it costs three lint to make one rope. Stop it. So I can only make three lint ropes. And then when one of these is done, we got to go research lint rope, because apparently it'll at least give us some raw science or maybe even another recipe for something else. Well, the termite armor is a tier three armor. And you need three lint rope to make it, which means the three lint rope I'm making right now would have to go to this. It's considered a light armor and it gives you grass harvest speed and rock harvest speed. That's terrible. Well, I'm never, I'm never going to make this because that is terrible. All right. So the uh, splinter arrows are tier three arrows. That'll be our first set of tier three arrows. So they definitely have to be stronger than the crow's feathers. But we need dust mite fuzz, and we haven't found any dust mites yet, so that'll be something to look forward to the next time we go over to that section of the yard. We gotta find some dust mites, we gotta go kill that secret boss, and we gotta take out a couple of those rhino beetles as well. Wolf spider! Yeah! Is that what you want, wolf spider? Because that's what you're getting. Don't do it, don't do it, dude. No! He bit me, I don't have my- oh god, we're poisoned. Get back over here right now. Right now. Nothing's killing me today, not even your poison. What are you doing, man? Fight me. Get back over here. Fight. Uh oh, I'm gonna regret this. Oh God. I wanna be very clear with you guys. That did not count as a death. Here's why, okay? Here's why. I was testing out to see how many times my character Pete could get bit by a wolf spider and outlive the venom. It's a very important test, all right? I'm doing it for Broodmother fight purposes because she can inflict poison damage as well. So it was for science, and everyone knows that when you're testing science, deaths don't count. Zero deaths so far this episode. We got a new recipe for a cookbook, which I still have not bought any food for our oven yet. But there's a Black Ox burger you can make, which gives you a max health buff and a damage resist. I think I'm going to finally buy a cookbook. Now, that's expensive. You got to have four of these black rhino parts, it looks like. Some sort of leather and some goop. That's an expensive one. Oh, no. It also comes with termite delight, which gives you rock harvest speed and grass harvest speed. 
Oh my god. I'm gonna buy it for the burger though. That looks like that'd be really helpful in a boss fight. Damage resist. Also, advanced smithing, flavored jewels, and advanced smithing quartzite jewels. I think we need the quartzite jewels actually. I don't know if I need, um, we'll buy them both. I have enough for both, so let's just buy them both. Every time I come out this door, that crazy wolf spider's here. Speaking of that crazy infected wolf spider, he's not here today. Um, we're gonna have to kill him and the brood mother and the secret boss still. So we still got three bosses to kill. We can do a lot of killing over the next couple of episodes. Things are going down. Speaking of going down, I discovered there's a mutation you can get if you punch things to death. I haven't gotten it yet, but every time I see a weevil or an aphid, I keep punching them to death and hopefully I'll unlock that mutation. It'll give you times two punching strength. And if we use that with our other mutation that we got from the haze lab where we do explosive punches, it might actually be a fun way to try to kill some of these bigger animals just to see if you can do it, some of these bigger bugs. But we'll have to unlock the mutation first because your punch is so weak. The only thing right now it's killing are these little guys. Oh, I got it, little fist. We got it. It's only one phase and it says, your tiny limbs flail and crash upon foe after foe. With every swing, these bitty bones of yours harden and muscles tighten. So it gives you plus unarmed attack. So yeah, we'll be punching harder with this. And if we pair it with Truffle Tussle, which is our explosive fist, it might be kind of fun to try. Let me take this off and put this, put this on. Let me go find like a mid-tier animal somewhere and punch him and see what happens. Okay, now when I said mid-tier, I wasn't exactly thinking a stink bug, but there is a stink bug right here. I put on my gas mask, so we should be fine. From that, anyways. I don't know how fine we're going to be, but this is for science, so once again, it doesn't count as a death. Here we go! Yeah. Ow! Oh, it worked! I punched! I did an explosion! Come on! Oh my god! I didn't take any damage during that fight. And I just punched a stink bug to death. And we had our uh, Truffle Tuffle, which is the explosive punch. I think activate two or three times during that fight. Yo, do I see a brood mother, no weapons fight in our future? First in the world? Maybe. Maybe. I can't believe I didn't take any damage. It's like he didn't get even get a chance to bite me or deploy his gas at all. That was crazy. Check out our oven recipes. We've got so many now. We got the black ox burger newt recipe, the termite delight. We also just got spicy globs. No, we've had those. Hang on. Quartzite jewel, salty jewel, mint jewel, spicy jewel. Look, I hung up a sign. I bought one. I couldn't help it. I bought this sign set called Neon. It comes with uh, neon paintings in it. Look at this one. It's a firefly twerking, my favorite. Also, I figured it's time to add a little luxury to my bedroom here, a place where we can relax. And this is a berry leather chair, a berry chair. So we'll just plop that together. And as of right now, there's nothing really you can do with the chair except for just sit in it, which is cool. But what I was hoping will happen is they'll give you a temporary bonus like a, a rested bonus or something like that, where your stamina won't drain for the next five minutes or something like that. They should make it to where if you build some of these items in your house, you get temporary buffs for it, for using them. Um, if you go to sleep, you get a temporary buff. If you eat certain food, you get temporary buff. So they should do something with chairs and rugs and stuff like that as well. So hopefully in the future they will, but that's actually kind of cool that you could just chill on it like that. Yeah, the upstairs is coming along real nice. Don't worry, I got big plans. Big, big plans for that empty space right there. It's going to be awesome. Oh, I put a wolf spider up over here. Forgot to show you that. His name's Doug. I forgot to show you that I did go back to the um, sandbox and find the last piece of the crusty roly-poly armor. Well, it's no better than our ladybug armor. We want the good roly-poly armor. So this is just on display for now. We're not gonna wear it. It doesn't even have a set bonus, but when we build the regular good set of roly poly armor, it's gonna have way better stats and it's gonna have a set bonus for us. But that's how it looks. It looks amazing. I think I have enough quartzite jewels now to do this. So spicy Coltana is currently at a level eight mighty with the spicy element on it. Does 45% more damage. 45% more durability. We're about to use five quartzite jewels 
to make it 55% more damage, 55% more durable. Do it. Oh, we are coming for you, Broodmother. Not quite yet. I still need my roly-poly armor. And forget about the Termite King. He wasn't even today's real boss. The real boss was me punching to death with my bare hands a stink bug. Now, that was awesome. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, don't forget to drop a like on it. Hey, also, do me a favor. If you're just cruising by the channel and are finding these fun to watch, hit the subscribe button, too. And as always, it's been your boy, Lagging24. And I will see you uh, next time.